Pope King Goldenberg and resulting heart sickness. In the midst of the tinsel and light and shine, let's remember what the season is really about. Let's pray for a spirit of all things Christmas for ourselves and our loved ones. Policy. 
the virtual <coughs> PC, get virtual son, and we'll name him Emmanuel. Oh, and the name Emmanuel means God with us. Wow, that's a great name. What did Joseph do when he woke up? He did just what the angel had told him to do. Okay, so what happened next? Next, there was a little drama that went on in Rome. Caesar, the Roman ruler, ordered that everyone had to be counseled. Why would he do that? Something about taxes, whatever those are. But in order to be counseled, everyone had to go back to their family's hometown. Sort of like a family reunion? Little, a little bit, yeah. but without the games or potato yeah. salad. That's too bad. I love potato salad. Did they have cookies? I love cookies too. I don't think so. Then it really wasn't much like a family reunion at all. No. In fact, for Mary and Joseph, it was a pretty long and difficult trip, especially since Mary was expecting a baby. Where did they have to go? They went to a little town called Bethlehem. Do you mean that little bitty town over there? In the middle of nowhere? <laughs> That's the one. It was the birthplace of Joseph's ancestor, King David. Wait a minute. Bethlehem. Isn't that the one they sing about, the one they call, Oh, little town of Bethlehem? Yes. I really like that song. They even sing about how the silent stars go by. Listen, I think someone's going to sing it now. but there was a star. Where? We're getting there. First, we have to hear more about Mary and Joseph. Okay. So Joseph went to Bethlehem to be counted, and Mary went with him. Look, Mary and Joseph have arrived in Bethlehem. I hope they have somewhere nice to stay. Mary looks very tired. You're right, but there was no room for them in the end, so Mary and Joseph stayed in the stable. A stable? Do you mean that for cows and horses and goats and sheep? Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Mary and Joseph stayed in a humble stable. There, Mary had her baby and she wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. Why did they put the baby in a manger? It was probably the safest and best place they had for him. I'm sure that Joseph lined it with fresh new hay and stood watch over Mary and the baby during the night. What did they name the baby? They named him Jesus, which means the Lord saves. And now, for the first time up in the sky, there was a new star announcing the birth of the Messiah. Look, I think they're going to sing again. They do that a lot at Christmas time. You get used to it.
not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. That today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born. Who will find him, lying in Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, When the angels had left them and gone back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told about them, what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they, as they had been told. The baby is born. <laughs> so that's the story of the first Christmas and the star? Yes, but there's more to the story. Over there, in the east. Who are those guys? They are three wise men, but they can tell us themselves. We three came from Moria Gar. I love the Yannis stars. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. What are they saying? It's from an old song about three wise men. They are saying that they are three kings from the east and that they travel a long way to get here. <laughs> oh, I get it. And they saw a new star. And they followed it because they were wise enough to know that it meant the Savior had been born. That's right. Listen, I think they're going to sing it now. So the wise men went on their way, and 
The star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. I bring gifts of gold. I bring gifts of frankincense. I bring gifts of myrrh. Then they gave their gifts and went back to their own country. But having been born in a dream, not to go back to Herod, they went home a different way. Why didn't they go back to see Herod? Because Herod didn't really want to worship, worship Jesus. He wanted to destroy him. That's horrible. Me, the great king, Herod, worship a baby? I think not. <laughs> yes, it was horrible. What happened to baby Jesus? An angel was sent to warn Joseph in a dream to take his family away to Egypt, where they would be saved. They escaped into the night before Herod found them. That's wonderful. Is that the whole story? There's a little more. When it was safe to return, the child, Jesus, and his family traveled back to Nazareth where he was raised. Jesus was the Son of God and he did all the things that were prophesied about him. He lived a perfect life and died on the cross for all sin and rose again to live forever. Now, he sits at the right hand of God the Father and will one day, and one day he will come to judge the world. That's amazing. And how do you know all of this? Oh, I saw it all from up here in the sky. For you see, I am the new star that appeared that night. Really? You are the new star? But you're so old. So is the story. Over 2,000 years old. But it is still true as today as it was on that very first Christmas. And that's why we still celebrate Christmas today. That's amazing. Thank you for telling me the story. I think I will shine a little brighter now that I know all of this. Well, you know what King David said. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where the voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth. Their words to the ends of the world. Yeah, well said. Hey, is that the same King David? Yes, King David, the ancestor of Joseph, the one who was born in Bethlehem all those years ago. Wow, I like that guy. He has a real way with words. Okay, so what now? Looks like, looks like it's time for another song. And cookies? I love cookies. Yes, yes. We'll get you some cookies. Come on.
Sun Life. It's happy to have you here with us, and now we will hear from a minister, Brent Washington. Let's give our young people a round of applause. It would, it's only be fitting at this time of the year when we celebrate the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ that we extend the invitation for someone that may be here tonight that may not know him and may want to know a little bit more about the story you heard tonight. I want to know about the baby that was born in the man. Only to be born so that he could die for us. And not only that, but shed his blood that we may have a right to the tree of life. So as we celebrate Jesus being born, it's impossible not to think about the idea that he was born to die. Amen. And not to die for just anybody, but to die for me and you. A man with no guilt, no stain, no sin. And yet he suffered, bled, and died for me and you. And maybe you're sitting here tonight and you say, you know what, I don't know that man named Jesus. I want to get to know him. But well, tonight we offer you an invitation not to join me so like that was turn but to seek the fellowship of Jesus Christ. Right. So that you can also have that same right to the tree of life. Is there anyone in here tonight as I deeply stand? Evil King Herod. 
and also on our song is Tyreek Bellar. His royal scribe, Rajon Jackson. Our three wise men, and uh, did y'all hear those deep, deep voices they had? That's thanks to our brother Deacon Willie Lloyd. We have our three wise men, Darrell Washington, Darion Washington, Adonis Cannon. And we have some ladies who were playing dual roles tonight. They were not only our angel dancers, but they were also our angels, our heavenly host. Uh, we have Aylin Woodard. Casey Gatlin, Alana Cannon, and Maya Joseph. Playing our shepherds, we had Corbin Harvey, Landon Latulis, and Corian Washington. Elizabeth, Miss Simone Freeman, Joseph Trevion Davis, Mary Heavenly Garden, isn't that the right name for Mary Heavenly? And our wonderful Gabriel Artez Garden. Star and violinist Mackenzie Harvey. Our old star and also a dancer, Janiah Woodard. And our mistress of ceremony, our hostess, Miss Aaliyah <laughs> Evans. children here on Wednesday nights. Uh, if you would please take a stand because we started working on this right after Thanksgiving but we didn't really have any good practices until the last three days. So I'd like all those people uh, to please stand. Come on Ms. Burton, Ms. Washington, Ms. Jackson, Ms. Prescott, uh, Ms. Ruby Jackson, we really appreciate you, Brother Gardner, Miss Gordon, uh, the whole team. It, they just did a wonderful job working with these children. And of course, parents and grandparents, if you could stand or okay? those last minute practice, uh, practices and the costumes and we're just glad to have you here with us tonight and now I will turn this over uh, to Minister Washington to close and please join us in the back for uh, a little refreshment. Once again let's give everybody a round of applause. Set that brought back memories. I gotta give y'all credit, y'all upgraded in the costume category. I told my mom we did it, uh, we had to bring our bath rolls and our bath towels and uh, wrap around here. I know they had some shiny rolls. I, I was a little bit jealous of the kings a little bit. They were, they were coordinating, they had the right color, same colors on. But it's amazing because the reason why that, that brought joy to my heart, and those of us have, have, have gotten older and realized that. A lot of our starting points, a lot of our confidence that we gained, is started in the church. Amen. Don't think that getting up in front of you guys is easy for some of them, because for some of them, this is their first time really standing up in front of you. 
But the wonderful thing about it is watching them, we know it won't be there the last time. But we got some stars in the making. And so as a church, we got to keep growing and keep nurturing to the young people and to the youth department. Thank you for having the vision to bring back a program that reminds us of the reason for the season, but not only for the season, but to grow our kids for a, for a long time. So once again, thank you for that. Now we do have refreshments in the back, um, but Sister Murphy asked me to do something. Uh, she said, I want to do something a little different. I said, well, what do we do a little different? She said, you know what, normally we do a, a you know, blessing and a, and a benediction. She said, I want to do an altar prayer at Christmas time. I said, well, I said that, that, that's always required. You know, that's never out of order. Um, but we really need to realize the reason for the season. There are some people, as, as tough as we think we have it, the others that have a lot tougher. And I always say, just imagine, if they don't know who Jesus is, how tough it really is. Um, went by today, we saw Brother Lewis Gray in the hospital. Told me to tell all you guys, he's fine, don't worry about it. He said, I'm tough, I'm good. Had his head turned to the side. And he told me to get out of there and go to church. So I got out of there and went to church. Um, but we also keep Sister Betty Garden in our prayers. Uh, we got a praise report on that. Uh, the garden said, took him a long time trying to get a bed. But it, he had me right now because they really didn't need the bed too bad after all. So um, the doctors do not see any major concerns, but they're going to stay over a little while. So we want to thank God for that. And there are many others. That you may know in your family that we may not know right now, name that need our prayers. One thing is in regard to your brother and sister in Gardner, uh, Chris is on the way to pick them up in New Orleans. And uh, as soon as this is over, we're going to meet them around that we have that room. Oh, so they're on their way back? Oh, yeah. oh that's a blessing. Uh, they did. At this time, the Lord gives us a song and we come to the altar.